Colorado's affordable housing crisis is at a tipping point. On top of soaring property taxes, insurance premiums have now doubled or even tripled for some homeowners. As Sean Boyd reports, some people cannot find insurance at all. If anyone understands the importance of having adequate insurance, it's survivors of the Marshall Fire, almost all of whom were underinsured. We've lived it, and uh, nobody would really want to go through that again. Alan Ferguson among those rebuilding. There's a lot of unknowns out there. And insurance is now one of them. He and his neighbors are doing what they can to lower their risk of wildfire. There is nothing on the outside of the structure that is organic and likely to burn. And increase their chance of securing coverage. Right now, it's, it's all guesswork. He's called more than 10 carriers. They're telling us to wait about a month before uh, we move in. For homeowners trying to rebuild, that uncertainty is really unsettling. He's not alone. It's gotten a lot worse and it's starting to accelerate. State Representative Judy Amabile says insurers are not only raising premiums, but refusing to insure entire neighborhoods. Some have even pulled out of the state. She passed a law this year that creates a quasi-governmental insurance plan for those who can't get coverage anywhere else. You're going to get a very bare bones policy, probably just the structure. Coverage will be capped at 750000 and premiums will be expensive. We do not want to do anything to um, disrupt the commercial insurance market. Critics worry it will encourage people to move into high risk areas. But I think we saw with the Marshall Fire, we just don't know where that is. So should we be encouraging everybody who lives in Steamboat? to move away? Should we say, well, okay, let's write off the town of Netherland? I'm in limbo as far as to, will I have insurance on a property? Kitty Stevenson among those who moved out of a high risk area. She has a house, barn and 25 acres on Sugarloaf. And then Marshall hit and then game changer. Game changer. Her insurance, she says, jumped from 7,000 to 17,000. She put her property on the market and moved into town. I didn't have insurance on my house for about five months. Completely uninsured for five months. Yeah, so I was just like, don't breathe, don't plug anything in. She cycled through four insurers in two years. The latest, she says, canceled her policy after she made a claim on a different property covered by a different insurer. They're looking for any reason to be like, no, no, because they're just cutting their losses. And it has a ripple effect. You can't get a mortgage without insurance. And Stevenson says if there aren't homeowners in areas like Sugarloaf, there aren't firefighters. I was a volunteer firefighter, and we would go and put out these fires before they started and got big. We protect the water sources. We have an awesome community here. Ferguson worried insurance could lead some of his neighbors already struggling with the cost of rebuilding to throw in the towel. It's just another, frankly, big issue on top of a lot of other big issues as we're trying to get our community back together. It's not just homeowners. Representative Amabile says she knows of a summer camp that can't find insurance. More than a third of carriers have canceled policies in Colorado. The state insurer of last resort won't be available for another year. In Boulder County, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.